I started Midwest Prototyping in 2001 with a stereolithography machine. It was the leading technology at the time, so we've been a user of that technology every day since then. And I'm growing to be one of the largest SLA providers in the United States. Stereolithography is used primarily as a prototyping tool. It's very fast, it's very accurate. We can offer a number of different materials and the parts are very suitable to be finished to a higher fidelity. A few years ago, we took it upon ourselves to reinvent the service bureau. What does a modern additive manufacturing service bureau look like and what equipment do you need to make that happen? We brought in the Neil from Stratasys to facilitate that and that's a process that took a couple years as we went through validating the equipment and really forming a relationship. We ran the equipment side by side with the traditional equipment that we had and you know we're checking everything from throughput and dimensional accuracy, things that you would absolutely expect, but then looking at the improved surface finish and what does that save downstream on post-processing time. If a part needs to be aesthetically pleasing, we'd have to hand sand something like that. And with a texture like this, you can't, can't really sand it or else you're gonna remove you know, the texture itself. So building it on you know, a Stratasys machine, it'll get that nice smooth sidewall quality and not have to sand it at all. You know, one of the things that really attracted us to the Neo that, that Stratasys has now brought to the market is just the elegance of the design, the simplicity of the access for service, everything that just makes the total cost of ownership of a machine more advantageous. So far, my experience uh, with these Stratasys machines are they're very reliable. They work like they should. They make nice parts, and if there ever has been an issue or a bug, they know what it is and how to fix it. Because I've had too many situations where there are others where they know the problem happened, but they don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Our customer base throws everything at us, and that's what's fun about this industry is, even though we're using the same processes every day, the product is very, very different from uh, day to day and sometimes hour to hour. What kind of parts do we make on the Stratasys printers? Honestly, the answer is anything our customers throw at us. <laughs> you know?